Shelly Berkeley is our guest host today. Shelly has teamed up with former NBA star Jerome Junkyard Dog Williams for a special basketball clinic for children. And thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm, thank love, you, I'm loving the atmosphere, yeah, the Valley it's, View. It's, you know. We're having a lot of fun. <laughs> got, yes. got the colors going yes. on, all the ladies. Now, Shelly, you've worked, <laughs> yeah, and all the ladies. Yes, definitely. And that's, the, that's the big thing. That's, that's the, the big, big thing. thing. Yeah. That's right. And you've worked with Jerome for a little while now with the university. I love Jerome. Jerome. I absolutely love him. As a matter of fact, he was the recipient of our Illuminary Award for our Autism Award for our Autism Center. He is a wonderful community citizen, and I am very grateful that you have um, kind of selected Toro to spend some time with us. The kids love it. We love it, and it's making a big difference. Well, thank you, Shelly. I mean, He's I, blushing. I really I love I know. It. That's I, great. You know, I, the check's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And Thank now you. you're working on a Donated basketball. To Toro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're working on a basketball clinic. Yes. And yes. tell who's invited. Oh, like, well, all the kids, all the kids in the Vegas Valley, um, especially the ones with autism and who are autistic. We we had the opportunity to uh, bring the JYD project in last year, and a lot of my NBA alumni from Keith Starr to Doug Lee, as well as future NBA picks. We're all on hand to really teach these kids a little bit about the game in a fun, engaging way. Uh, Kelly Oubre, who will be out here for NBA Summer League, as well as UNLV's own Rashad Vaughn, who were both I coached at Finley Prep. Oh, very and nice. Can I tell you yes. something? It, it was so much more than that. <laughs> um, autistic children have a lot of challenges, and they don't make human contact. They don't make eye contact. Mm -hmm. And his the former players led by Jerome was so amazing in that the, the kids uh, glommed onto them. They, uh, they put them on their shoulders. These are kids that would never play basketball in an organized uh, manner. And they, the players put Jerome had a, a youngster, must have been three, four years old, on his shoulders. They go running to the basketball, and the kids are so high up now that mm -hmm. they're able to put the ball in uh, in the net. It was as if they died and went to heaven. And I'll tell you something else. The parents that were there, tears oh. streaming down their <laughs> eyes because they're seeing their kids for the first time participating in an organized sport and enjoying it and, and having the time of their lives Thanks to Jerome. Mm -hmm. And Jerome, why do you love doing this? And well, helping these kids? you know, first of all, I, I, I want to make sure that I express how many volunteers were there. And it wasn't just about me. It was a lot of people who came together with Toro University, a lot mm -hmm. of volunteers with the JYD Project. Was there. My mother was there. My brother was and, there. And, you know, it takes a lot <laughs> of smiling faces uh, to really, you know, capture a child's attention, especially to keep it. So it was, it was a great experience for me. Uh, to really uh, just go in there and, and be able to bring a smile to a kid's face is, is just an mm -hmm. awesome feeling and is a blessing. And I had a tremendous time doing it. And we, uh, like Shelly said, had the opportunity to uh, really bring them up to the eye level of the rim oh, where they could yeah. make some baskets. Mm -hmm. And there were some big kids that went up there too. It was <laughs> we could I mean, use a boost. We, you know, <laughs> I know. Oh, boosters, but, but tomorrow we have a little surprise because uh -huh. the junkyard dog mascot may make an appearance. Oh, I, you know, nice. I, I put the call into the dog pound. Oh, oh no, this is a free event for the kids and their families to come. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Do they have to register or they just show up? Yes, and I believe it was a lot of the spots were pretty much sold out. Yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was, it was, but you know it was what? a hot ticket this year. Hot ticket. <laughs> Call the school. Yeah, the numbers are on the screen. Uh, see if you can't get in because uh, yeah. I yeah. promise the second, it'll... The second session, I believe, had maybe a couple of spots. but uh, Okay, let's give it a try because yeah. it's something not to be missed, especially if your child has a learning challenge. This, is, this will be an experience of a lifetime for them. Thanks yes, to him. yes, definitely. And after this, what's next for you? Well, obviously we have NBA Summer League, mm -hmm. so I'll be doing NBA player development with my Dre Roddy project for all the incoming rookies and second year players. Uh, this is my eighth year uh, hosting it with alongside NBA uh, player development and NBA players union. So I have a lot of fun just teaching the next generation how to not only make a few dollars playing mm -hmm. the game of basketball, but keeping yes, the dollars. The so then you can come retire in Vegas exactly. with us yeah. in the well, warm. Well, it sounds like you're just as busy as Shelly. Thank you for taking <laughs> yes. time out Thank of your day to come on.
You're welcome. Thanks to our for show. Having Thank me. you. Turo University Nevada teams up with the JYD Project for a one on one basketball clinic for children tomorrow at their campus in Henderson. The free clinic runs from 8 30 in the morning until 12 30 in the afternoon and is for children under 13 with autism or developmental disabilities. Still to come on Valley View Live, big.